Alrighty then, good afternoon everyone, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Clockwork Empires, going to be continuing where we last left off. Uh, now, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, fortunately we did get a new version, so we are on Beta 51C now, so there has been uh, two different sets of hotfixes since the last time I managed to record this. Unfortunately, we did get a... Uh, warning, incompatibility, warning kind of thing going on there, but it seems like at least for now it's fine, so hopefully it continues to do to be so, as I would be sad if it was not. Anyway, yeah, we have to travel all this way now to get our rocks, which is a damn shame. Uh, there has been improvements to the stacking system, though, apparently. Uh, from what I understand, oh... Um, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I take that back. Fuck. We appear to be a little bit screwed. Shit. Excuse me while I completely forcefully shut this down. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Cough, cough, those beta bugs, cough. Let's see if you'll cap this properly again. There we go. Let's try this again and hope it doesn't fuck up. Can I not convert it? Am I so completely fucking screwed? Well then, this may prove problematic. Cough, cough, cough. Alrighty then. Some of them appear to be moving this time. Ugh. Well then. This is unfortunate. So... This is unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well then. I have a decision to make. What day is it? It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Tomorrow is apparently sticker days. My next calendar is nothing but stickers. Uh, let's see. Till 7.30. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Hopefully I can get up before that then. In that case, pretty much since this is deciding to be a colossal bastard today, uh, our save file for this is pretty much lost. I'm going to spend an adventure, I guess. We have a decision to make. Let me go ahead and just get rid of this for a second here and close this off. So unfortunately, this save is fucked. It's not going to happen. We're not going to get this village back. It's, it's gone. It's a write-off. We're, we're good here. Everyone move along. So, to that effect, we have a decision to make. Obviously, I'm going to create a new village. It's going to have to be a variety of locations. But, let me actually mute this a little bit here. There we go. Rather than just selecting the same kind of thing I did before, Dauntless, Dare, and everything, I'm going to let you guys decide. 
So we're going to spend the next minute here kind of looking through this, uh, seeing the various biomes that we have available here, and then you guys are going to decide what we do. So definitely throw your uh, throw your comments in, and I will – actually, I'll throw a straw poll up. I will throw two different straw polls up. They will be in the description down below. Uh, one will be for which start to go with, and the other one will be the location. Uh Hopefully we don't get too screwed over though because I know that the desert is pretty much the desert is really really difficult to survive in. I don't believe these notes because I don't recall there seeing a lot of trees in the desert. Without trees you can't build anything so we might be screwed if we go for that. But anyway, we have my first colony starter pack which starts with uh, four, five overseers, one NCO and one laborer. Uh, building materials, three days food worth of food, ingots of iron and copper, and a spare pistol. We have the advanced colony setup, which is my usual favorite. Or was it? No, it's instant colony is my usual favorite. Same thing, five overseers, one NCO, one laborer. Uh, advanced building materials, though, one day's worth of food. And enough an ingot, ingot of iron and a spare pistol, so no copper with that one. Next, we have my favorite one, which is the five overseers, one NCO, four lower class workers, and an abundant uh, basic material, building materials, and a day's worth of food. Next, we have our best and brightest. You start off with five overseers, one NCO, one laborer. Uh, you get few build fewer building materials and a two days less or two days of food. Cough. Only skilled overseers, though fewer supplies. That would actually be an interesting one because we have skilled overseers, and that would be a nice thing to have too. We have the Metalworkers Trove. Uh, construct, a, construct a metalworks almost immediately with those specialized supplies. So we have five overseers, an NCO laborer, and the metalworking building supplies, ores of copper and iron, and a day or so of food, as well as a spare pistol. We got the Stalwart Supply, which gives us the overseers, NCO, a foot soldier on top of him. So we got two soldiers, an extra laborer, and enough building materials for fortifications, which would be really nice, actually. Five landmines and five pistols. So that's definitely if you really want to get started, you know, uh, in securing your colony and getting people happy with that being, you know, having a uh, military, a strong military presence, that'd be a good one to go for. Uh, Nature's Bounty, we got five overseers. It's the basic, the basic, I'm just going to go with saying this is the basic uh, outfit of people. Uh, four weeks of supply of food and no building materials. So there's a whole bunch of food. We have Lord Palm Strokes believes that only science can provide. So with the his choice, we have five overseers, one scientifically inclined overseer, and one laborer. Enough materials to build a science lab right off the bat, which actually be, this would be a really interesting approach as well. And a bar of gold for some reason. The bar of gold could actually be used for a couple things though. So this would be a nice one because he'd be able to get the science lab up immediately and he could do all sorts of things, which would be intriguing. And then of course we have my usual Dauntless Dare, no materials, no food. And then finally we have friends in high places this one would probably be a fairly difficult one as well experimental it's even labeled experimental so we get a few aristocrats right off the bat take good care of them because their families would be terribly upset if the ministry if anything if anything went wrong so you got five overseers a laborer an nco and then three important aristocrats not a basic set of provisions and i have no idea no idea what the aristocrats would even do probably nothing they probably just sit around and consume food and whiskey all day or something other than that, we have a couple different places we could embark. We have the Alpine, which would be very interesting. I don't know if we've taken a look at that before. We have the freshwater lake, tropical wetlands kind of shenanigans. Uh, tropical mixed forest. We have the steppe, which is very similar to the desert. Uh, boreal forest and so on. Other than that, there's not too, too much. Yeah, it's about all the distant uh, various varieties we would have here. We have this kind of boreal forest as well. So I'll get a second uh, poll up with all of these choices, and we'll have to see where it goes from there. Regardless, thank you for watching. Sucks that we lost another town due to updates. And when we do get all of this, like, wrapped up, I'm hoping that... Or when do I want to do this? Should I wait until next... Hmm. Ow, as I stretch my arm out. Ha, ah, let's see here. What should I do? What should I do? I'm going to say Saturday. I'm going to say Saturday the 4th, because I have a lot more time that way. So on Saturday the 4th, I'm going to take everyone's selected choices. 
I'm going to stream a good two or three hours worth of content, record and cut, and probably end up cutting it up afterwards, and then I'll upload that over the next couple of days. So anyway, I will see you all then. Thanks for watching. Have a great one, and till then, peace out, everybody.